All right, guys, Geo7 here. Today, I'm going to try and show you a hopeful 40 out of 40 weekend league squad. It's a squad that I've made. It's one that I've been using recently, and it's one that I'm hopeful of. Not this week, but next week, but possibly, as I think there's no requirements. This week is requirements. I'm not going to do a video on the requirement because you can have just a standard league, and then there's not really much point. But for next week, you can need hopefully no requirements. I'm not sure. But I'm just going to show you the squad that I do need that I am using currently and hopefully it can provide as good performance as possible in the weekend league. Oh, there's quick sell value has been added in the new update so you can now see that. First of all we have Butland, not much else to say of Butland apart from he's world class and he? he's 6 foot 5 in height, 85 reflexes, he's an incredible goalie, best one to use. As you see he has scored a goal for me that was in the weekend league, it was bounced up to him from a corner and he headed it in, it was a decent goal. And the f next up, we have the three centre backs. Um, who's the last one? <sighs> it's Carasoli and switch around like that. Um, so first up, we have Chris Smallin. Chris Smallin is Chris Smallin. Always use him if you've got Premier League defence. Always use him. Never go about Chris Smallin. I'd say try and get him at every team you possibly can. 77 pace, 6 foot 4, high defensive work rates. Perfect, perfect player, Chris Smalling. And I'd always say play him. Slouis, David Louise. Slouise is how. Me and my mate's calling him. <laughs> it's a bit of a joke, but yeah. Uh, 73 pace, 82 defense, 79 physical. 241 gains for me. That shows you how much I trust David Luiz. He's a world class player, David Luiz. 241 games, and I'd always say use him and Smalling. People might prefer Bai, but definitely Luiz and Smalling for me. Now finally, Cavaselli. Cavaselli is a dodgy one. He's very cheap, but I do prefer him to most of them. You could get Koscielny or Bailly. They're probably two other options, or even Armendi. But Cavaselli is someone I really like to play with. And he is who is obviously in his team. And then next up, we have Hector Bellerin. He stays a lot of my game teams. 140 games played. 95 pace, 77 dribbling, 74 defending. Decent little card, nothing too brilliant. He has got an upgrade you can get now, not too expensive either. Um, can go up a bit too much sometimes, but when you've got him as wing backs, that is fine. The next up, we have Felipe Luiz. Um, he's a bit expensive, 14,000 coins. That is how much he's actually worth. Again, he's got the same work rates as Bellerin. 80 pace, 80 defense, 79 physical, 77 driven, 77 pounds. So very decent all round stats, actually. And he's very strong, he'll push players off the ball. Then next up we have Kante and probably a surprising one, Rafinha. No way around. So first up we have Kante. Kante again has got an upgraded card, but this one's got 80 pace, 80 defend, and 83 physical. Don't really need to say too much about Kante. If you've played FIFA this year, you know Kante is a beast because he is just an amazing dribbler. 5 foot 7 in height, fantastic player. Then Rafinha with his new card. Alicantara, same name as Thiago, don't know if they're actually related or not, actually they might be, I'm not sure, but 4 star, 4 star, medium, medium, left for decent around car Rafinha, he's a very, uh, I like Rafinha on this game, there are certain players I do prefer, but all the, to get full chem on everyone, the Barcelona midfielder is what you need pretty much, or an Atletico Madrid midfielder maybe might work, no it needs to be a Barcelona midfielder or Brazilian midfielder, and of course he fits it both. Then at left wing, we do have Carrasco. Carrasco, the Atletico Madrid winger, 88 pace, 84 dribbling. He's come up quite a lot recently, Eric Carrasco. He's improved his game quite a bit. Nine assists and two goals in the 18 games. Not too bad. Four star, four star again. So very good <coughs> um, work rates, what you want from a player. High medium, again, for 2,900 coins. That is a bargain. Then at right wing, we have Willian. Willian is someone I always stayed away from because of his price. I mean, I always wanted to go for a cheaper option, but I suppose obviously the more expensive option probably is better. An 89 pace, 86 dribbling, 80 passing. He's a very good long shot. He's got great long shots from 8 goals and assists in the 18 games. Not too bad again. 4 star, 4 star. Yeah, again. High, high work rates, which is very good for Willian. And of course, last season, he was the main reason Chelsea even got to where they did. They could have even had a chance of relegation without him. And then up front, we do not have a striker. We have the guy that you saw from the thumbnail, the highlight of the team. That is the Brazilian Neymar. 28 goals and 6 assists in the 19 games. Paid 457,000. 
one of only two players with him and Musonna to have the five star weak foot and five star skill moves. High medium work rate, so again, very good work rates. 91 pace, 95 dribbling, 78 passing, 84 shooting. The passing probably should be better. The passing, if you see, do actually see him in game, his passing's a lot better than that. So it should really be higher than that. But yeah, you can see them stats there 28 goals and 6 assists in the 19 games with a fresh card. But yeah, decent all round. So anyways, the team does work very well. I'll show you the custom tattoos. I do have a defensive. Um, I have this down to 35. I always have this down to 35. I usually have the aggression up to 60. Obviously cover. Speed I have... Oh, speed I have up to 65. Yeah, 65. Passing 65. Organised passing up to 60 on this one. Crossing, I leave that one. I don't really do much. Of, uh, put this one up to 70, and that is how I usually leave it. I usually have the full backs to stay back while attack, and sometimes I do change better into attack. But when you've got two wingers in your team, you don't really need the full backs to come up as much. Uh, midfielders, I let Kante free roam, and I let Rafinha stay in one position, but having more attack over the Neymar, obviously, press back line, chip through ball, sword man, and also you can do his five star skill moves. Anyways, that's been the team. If you did enjoy, please leave a like rating. Please subscribe. Anyway, I'll see you later. Goodbye.